So uh, here's the statement. Doping testing and sanctioning at the Olympic Winter Games Pyeongchang 2018 is independent from the IOC. Therefore, the IOC cannot communicate on individual cases while the procedure is ongoing. However, we take note of the statement by a spokesman of the Olympic athlete from Russia delegation. The programme had a special focus on athletes from Russia. There is also, as you know, a strong testing programme in place here at the Games. The aim is to protect the clean athletes and to identify any athlete who may have been used using prohibited substances. On the one hand, it is extremely disappointing when prohibited substances may have been used. But, on the other hand, it shows the effectiveness of the anti-doping system at the Games, which protects the rights of all the clean athletes. If this case is confirmed, if this case is confirmed, it will be considered by the OAR implementation group, chaired by IOC Executive Board member Nicole Hovertz, which will report to the IOC EB at the end of the Olympic Games. Uh, like you, I've heard that the B sample will be open today, uh, around lunchtime, so some of you will know better the process than me, uh, what, what the timing will be, but it, it obviously depends on, on labs and, 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 and information and so on. I don't want to speculate on a particular case. Uh, products could be taken here, products could be taken anywhere. Uh, so you test people. Uh, I, I'm not aware of the individual case, so I can't really comment on it. It's, it's very impossible for me to say. But if you look at the level of testing, uh, we're talking about thousands of testing. I can get you the, the, these, these statistics. It's, 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 it's pretty comprehensive.